Hello fans of GeoGebra and fans of geometric methods in general. We have a V-shaped diagonal support that's holding up a rigid roof. I'm looking at it in elevation from the side. So this roof just continues in and out of the page and we have a V-shaped diagonal. Uh, suppose that we knew the force along this grid line Let's just say it's 10,000 pounds. So this is the top of the lateral force restraining system. <clears throat> and at the bottom, we would also have 10,000 pounds. Uh, it's a symmetric problem, so it doesn't really matter what the angles are. Um, but the nice thing that I would like to try to demonstrate to students at least is that the diagonal struts act uh, one would be in tension uh, and one would be in compression for a load going to the right for instance and that the cosine of that uh, diagonal and the cosine of this diagonal add up to the net reaction but then the cool thing of course is if we move the shape you know we get um, more efficiency, right? The, the diagonal force goes down to, you know, something kind of ridiculous. Um, where in the limit, I guess it would be half, right? So that looks like where it's going. But as we would get more and more uh, vertical, um, you know, it's an aesthetic maybe criteria, um, but uh, also kind of an engineering link. Of course, Mies would never allow diagonals anyway, so I'm not sure if this is completely acceptable to our modernist students. But um, Oh, and then the other thing is draw the loads to scale. Draw the loads to scale. 16,000 pounds versus 10,000 pounds. That's a great pedagogical tool, I think. So that's the short lesson for today. Hope you enjoyed it.